He's like, you can run, you can hide, but you'll still die. The Spike Spiegel <laughs> happened here. Oh shit! Stop! Again? <laughs> He's sending out a PSA. We're saved! <laughs> Kenpachi's just eager to fight. I think Ukitake has always been um, a bit on the fence. And Kurosuchi is just sour that someone did something without his command, or particularly his lieutenant. Oh, that's right! He's locked in the, um, Garganta. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. They're here. Are those the Quincy- Oh, wait, no! It's the gatekeeper. Is he dead? Oh! Is he being controlled? What is that? That thing reminds me of that floating eye bat from, um, Yu Hakusho. I knew it, this soul burner. Oh my god, he could hear all of the destruction. All of the death. Oh, he's worried about them. Oh my god, this must be like the worst thing for Ichigo not being able to help everyone. Oh, is he having his Gohan moment? Android 16 Gohan moment? Gohan, go on, let, let it go. go. <laughs> is he about to ha- Oh, he could psychically sense her. Ichigo's about to have his Goku Krillin moment. Goku versus Frieza. Krillin dies. He gets powered up. Then, uh, what are the, well, who else used that trope? Yusuke with Kuwabara in his fight with Tagoro. I fully expect Ichigo to have that moment. The moment of Goku, the moment of Yusuke, the moment of Gohan. I feel like I'm missing other animes, they're just not coming to me. I feel like that trope of someone dying or pretending they died to give their protagonist that, their, their hero, that main, like, mm. I feel like hearing all of them dying is gonna spur Ichigo into action. They look like stitches. Oh, he's still living? If they don't kill Stern Ritter J right now. Oh, the J stands for jail. What the hell? He's dead. Thank God. Split in half. Cause I. Yeah, that's a good question. Why? The better yet, why didn't you? Who was that? Better question is why didn't Kisuke do anything? You have a Zanbakuto, and I know you're strong. Oh, he's still stuck. So I, I guess he hasn't had that breakthrough moment yet. You have to amp up the tension. Everyone has to be on the brink of death, and then Ichigo's gonna burst out. I was about to say, is Byakuya, like, shaking? I was about to say, if he's scared, I, he is not scared. Can he read minds? Is he a mind reader too? Why does this man speak so slowly? It doesn't make him more intimidating. It just annoys me. Humility? With every win, he felt... Oh. Fear? Yeah, I think it's fear. Or I was about to say, when, when have we ever seen Byakuya get scared? Maybe surprised or shock. He's making him question every single move he makes. I guess that would be a telltale sign of fear gripping you. You get, you get caught up in the questions, the consequences of every action rather than just acting. <laughs> Thank you, because this man speaking so slowly is annoying me. He no longer fears death. Oh, what's about to happen here? Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, my. Are they about to kill him? Oh. True fear has no cause. They used Rukia, the, the, his fear, I guess. Oh god, that is so gross. Oh. Oh. I guess he rid himself of his own fear of death. But the fear of something happening to someone he cares about. Oh, oh, yes, yes, fight back! Thank you, fight back, fight back! <gasps> they can use, uh, his Bankai against him? That's right, I completely forgot. <laughs> She could sense it. Oh. Wait. 
No, there ha- there have been no death flags for Byakuya throughout this entire episode. Ichigo's gonna break through. I feel like... Yeah. Renji, please don't. Please don't do that. Renji. Oh god, Rukia. Rukia, turn around. Oh my goodness. I know she's not dead, they're not killing her, but still. Renji, they might. They might kill either Byaki or Renji. Oh. Oh, he's still standing. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh my god! Did they just... Jeez. Stop! Again? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Whoever just hit him. Oh, it's a Quincy. That was a good thing because he was about to use Bankai. Exactly. I was about to say. Whew, thank God for that. My goodness, this guy's a moron. Oh, no. So it was written. He just didn't read. Okay. Whatever excuse. I would I... It has to be a fake out. It did not just kill him. I feel like they're killing only, like, red shirts. Characters that we don't know or care about. Oh, Kenpachi. He has a sword through one of the... Is he, like, hitching them up with his sword through them? I'm kind of surprised it's just three. It's Kenpachi. Knowing this crazy-ass man, he could probably take at least 20 of them. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't exaggerate. He was trash. <laughs> Oh, that, just a slash. <laughs> oh, oh my. He just ripped the man's throat out. So he enjoyed the fight. Well, I guess in fights like these, you need a madman. Yeah, monster madman. You can feel Byakuya. Come on, have your moment. Oh, there it goes. Go on, oh, let it... not yet. Oh. Hey, it's Shuhei. Stren Ritter O. Big O. <laughs> I feel like there is a joke there. Oh my god, he's just stepping over the corpses, literally. His name is O. And he's... The O is fighting the man with 69 tatted on his face. Who do you, oh, he's the one who killed Sasakibe. Oh! Big Daddy Yamamoto! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay now! Kill him. Kill him, Head Captain! I think that's the widest I've ever seen his eyes go. Oh, he's gonna end you for that. Oh my god, it took me so long to register. That's Yamamoto? Why is he so dark? <laughs> I'm there wondering, wait a minute. Oh no. A flashback? That's like the number one death flag. And it's been raised on him. Oh! That's so cool! The scar. It was Sasakibe. I hate it when they give us such interesting information on a character that's already dead. Why didn't we get to see more of him then? I will admit, he, I think he has him, Byakuya, and when I say him, I mean Sasakibe, Byakuya, Uketake. I love their Bankais. And I've only seen Sasakibe's Bankai once. Ooh, ooh. Huh, the captain's robe came right off. He's- oh shit! Burned him with one stroke. He said, I'm not playing any games with any of you. In honor of Sasakibe. Wow. The flames, man. Y'all woke up the head captain. He's like, I'm gonna take care of every one of them, yup. Look at that! Jeez! They, everyone can feel it. Look at that. 
That must be like a boost. I wonder who she- I don't know you. I know that must be his lieutenant. I wonder what happened to Hyori. Yep, I had a feeling it would be like such a boost to their confidence. It's like their second win. Like everyone felt defeated after they heard all of those uh, Zombok toes were stolen. But now that head captain's out there, you can feel it. Like you can feel they feel like they may not have a chance or they will have a chance at winning. He is like a flaming god just flying through the air. Now that I'm thinking about it, where was this against Aizen? I understand he was like locked up, they like prisoned him, but no, I... And that goes another... Where were you all these, all these fights? He had this kind of power and he never utilized it. But I guess when you see that kind of power over and over and over, you become desensitized to it and it may lessen moments like this. So the less you see it, the bigger these moments, but at the same time, it has you reflecting all the moments you're wondering, where were you? I was getting my, it's like the Eternals in uh, the Marvel Universe, like we were getting our asses handed to us and you had the power to defeat this enemy and save us all and you were just chilling. I'm kind of frustrated with this. I, I went from loving it and in awe to scratch my head like, so you had this kind of power all along and you kind of just left your captains, your much, much weaker captains to, you know, fend for themselves. I feel like the only captain I would wonder if he's stronger than would be Kenpachi. Or maybe Kenpachi has the, I would, okay, no. The head captain is definitely stronger than Kenpachi, I would say. However, I feel like Kenpachi has the greater potential. It's like Gohan. Like Gohan has all of this potential. At any given moment, he could be the strongest person in the universe. But it's just the potential to be that, not that he is. So I feel like that's where Kampachi's at in regards to his power to the head captains. <gasps> oh! Here it goes. He's arrived. Oh, he looks ready too. Yeah, just as I was wondering who's stronger, Kenpachi or uh, the head captain, you it cuts to Paint 2.0. <laughs> Let's just call him that. Paint 2.0, holding Byak, uh, holding Byak, yeah, holding Kenpachi by the throat, and then head captain strolling up like, "Let me handle my business. This is this is grown folks' business." Kenpachi is the feeling I get. Um, I doubt Kenpachi's dead. They, I, I, and as for Byakuya, I wonder too. We shall see. The fire. That's all you have to say and cut straight to the opening credits. I do find myself very curious about how Uryu is gonna fall on all this. I mean, I do know he's aware of the past. But the fact that he said, I, I wonder if the guy who spoke to Yuki, I forgot his, his name, or I just didn't clock it, but he said that there were multiple debates going back and forth, back and forth. I wonder if that was the truth, because it says here, because Uryu said a uh, thousand years ago, he thought it was 200 years ago. So that makes me wonder if there's a falsehood, like someone lied to, to hide what really happened makes me wonder if it all went down the way that one guy explained it. Like they had multiple conversations, the uh, Soul Reapers, the Soul Society reached out to the Quincy's. They tried, they tried and, you know, sort of like they made it, they painted a picture where the Soul Reapers had no choice but to wipe out the Quincy's since they would not stop and they would continue to sort of uh, undo the balance between the soul society and the world of living. But I mean, wouldn't that hurt them as well? So that's, I feel like, mm, mm, maybe there's might be something there. Maybe we're missing pieces of the, uh, of the information. His feet are on fire. My goodness. Oh, 
Imagine moving so fast. Did the animation change? It looked like the animation looked different. Oh, anytime the animation changes, you know shit's about to go down. Oh, I love his two swords. This professor looking man with a Glock. Your boss will lose to our boss. I believe that. Oh, they're, they're jumping. We're jumping people. So we're jumping an old man. I see what it is. Oh man, Yama. <laughs> that is such a cool shot. Oh. That one on uh, Soyuku Hill, I think it's called. Burn, burned alive for interfering. Shh, no, I'm not in for the talking. His sword is so hot. The blood that yeah, drips yeah. steam, or more, more like it's so hot here that the the blood steam. Oh, what was that? The animation. Here we go. Here we go. Did he just blow flames? Behind you. I, I don't know why I'm rooting for him, but I want an interesting fight. Oh my god, that reminds me of the Hita Mitsurugi, his fight against Shishio with the flames, and he turned around. Oh! He parried. <laughs> oh, I plan on taking every pe What the hell just happened? What is that? Why did it go so bright? You can see the bloodstains a lot clearer. <laughs> did his- <gasps> It's the heat. It's so hot, it split his lip. Oh my goodness. The way she's looking at that flower, that flower is gonna dry up, isn't it? It's gonna shrivel up. I'm waiting for that moment. Or something's gonna crack. Something's gonna happen to that flower. Oh, yep. Last cracked. Is Bankai? Yeah. Jeez, man. Where was this against Aizen? I'm sorry. <laughs> this seems so badass. Zanka no Tachi. Well, let's one swing it. One swing it. Oh, he was much younger, so it wasn't as strong. Because I was about to say, he survived. If he saw it a thousand years ago... There's a delay. Probably delayed. Oh. Jeez. A crater with a touch. Oh, man. East. Damn. Dodged it. Oh. Oh, forget dodge. Completely uh, broke the sword. A thousand years ago, all of you died. That you're dead? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine saying that? Like, I killed you a thousand years ago, but you seem to have forgotten. Let me show you your corpse so you can remember that you're dead. That is a badass line. Like, you must have forgot that you died. Let me show you your corpse. Okay. Is there a north and a south? 15 million degrees Celsius? The lava! Oh, can he lava bend? These aren't flames. I'm sorry, this isn't flames. This is just hell. You know, I've, uh, that, that is a good theory. That his spiritual pressure just takes the uh, form of flames, and it's not actually flames that you're seeing. He's just oh oh there oh there goes the flower. Jeez man, what an image! He's literally just a head covered in flames, intended to annihilate all hollows. Oh okay then, so that's why there was a discrepancy in the time that Uryu found. Yeah, but you get along with the Soul Reaper. You one could argue your BFF is a Soul Reaper. I'm so curious on how Uryu is going to land on this. I wonder if he like has an arc or connects with one of the uh, Sternritters. 
<laughs> He's just like, pretty much taunting. I'm like, you ain't got no sword, so try it. Run at me. He's like, you can run, you can hide, but you'll still die. That's nothing. I was about to say, what is that supposed to do? All the uh, all this imagery of standing over corpses reminds me of Ervin's that one last before his last stand. Or his battle charge. He stood on a mountain of corpses. He is so fucking fast. Oh, oh, here we go. Swinger. He's gonna cut through it. God's light. This man is a flaming sun. I don't think he cares too much about God's light. The dead? What the hell? So, are we going to hell? What the hell is this? You can summon the dead? I'm trying to figure this out too. I awaken those I have slain by healing their ashes with my blade. So he has the power to revive the dead that he's killed with his sword? In so many ways, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> Can you imagine dying and then being woken up by uh, the man who killed you and said, Hey, I need you to fight one last battle for me. Get in there, man. Tap out. Tap out. Get in there. He said, You have the light of God on your side. I have hell on my side. I can go down to the, the depths of hell and bring my enemies out and use the people I have killed to kill you. That is some next level shit. And he's using the souls of his own Quincy's. Oh my goodness, this is so raw! Yeah, why didn't he just steal his Bankai from the jump? What, he couldn't? Was it too powerful? He's walking away? Oh my goodness. The flashbacks, the arrogance, he's dead. Gohan, huh? let it go. Oh. It looks like the enemy is the one having his Goku Krillin moment, Gohan Android 16 moment. Look at him, he's having his moment. He saw the, the bodies of his dead friends or his dead Quincy, Quincy men. <laughs> his fellow Quincy's. I respect it. Strangely enough, I, I respect how, how, how. I, I, yeah, I. You... Oh god, that head blowing up. North. We the North. In half, spinal. <laughs> oh wait, no, he didn't cut him in half. I thought he did. These flames that he's in is is just so fucking cool. He's like wrapped in it, and now rain to that rain must be hot as hell. I was about to say rain to to wash all the blood away, but I realized that must be hot. He's still living. That just means he's not gonna die. So he's not the head honcho? Wait, is that him? I'm, I'm so confused. Is he, does he have like a twin, a clone? Oh, it was like a body double? Didn't they do something like this in Naruto? Kisame and Itachi when they were fighting um, Guy and Kakashi's teams? Oh. oh. Destroyed the body. Nothing left but a foot. That is a good question. What was he doing all this time? So he was... Maybe that's why they didn't take his Bankai. They wanted to let him fight and draw... Uh, give him time. Oh, shit. Central Underground Great Prison. The original baddie. Our original OG bad guy. He's like, I know a slaughter when I sense one. Oh, he wants to recruit him. I should have seen that coming, considering he also had beef. Uh, he also seemingly wanted to take over the social society. Well, no, I was about to say that. I was like, wait, well, no, no. I think he wanted. They said he wanted to become the soul king or something. Or he wanted to. He questioned why must we bow to the soul king? He never said anything about destroying the soul society. Well, I mean, he labeled you as a special threat, so I would say yes. Yeah, I guess that's why Urahara just decided to steal him away. 
They have him wrapped up tight. Oh, no, sir, they're gonna steal- Exactly! I'm like, the only reason they didn't steal it prior is probably because they wanted you to use it and distract you. Oh, no, okay. So it was more so the fact that no one could handle his power. Oh, shit, he said reverse Uno. Oh, hell no. They said gotcha ass. That was one big ass arrow. Oh man, Yama, I don't see you winning this one. Sorry, old man. What a sword. Damn, I really think this is it. We got a flashback. That's the number one death flag. Oh, blood. Oh shit. Shit. Ooh. And they gave him the cowboy bebop animation. The Spike Spiegel. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Not funny, but funny in a lot of ways. Listen, I'm actually grateful that that's how they decided to kill him because I thought he was going to reverse Uno and use the corpses that his uh, sword had killed, all the Quincy's that he'd killed to go after him. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and give the video a like and leave a comment below. I'll see you next time. Be good.